If you're looking to get a little more advanced with the speed bar, you can search with a shorthand. Now, before you even begin, I would recommend to look at the help bubble here because this is gonna show you the limitation of what can or cannot go in the speed bar. So we're just gonna take a glance at it and then I'll show you how it works. So I'll click on the help bubble and it's gonna tell me here are the other ways I can search. I can search by street number, street name, status, listing class, county, zip code, MLS number, price, bedrooms, bathrooms, square foot heated, open house search, agent search, and office search if I want to. So this is gonna be the shorthand that I can use to save myself a couple seconds if I know the abbreviation for what I'm looking for. Now, not everything goes in the speed bar. You're gonna to have to keep that in mind. So you always have help to show you what can or can't go in the speed bar right here. Theoretically, this is how it should work. I should be able to go in, I'm looking for a residential active property, and needs to be under 250,000 with four or more bedrooms, two or more bathrooms, and it has to be in Orlando. So I could use this code right here, this little shorthand, to do a search, and when I hit enter, it runs a search based on that criteria and give me the results. So if you're a fast typer, this might save you a couple seconds right here. Now, not everything goes in the speed bar, so you can always go back to criteria and add other things in here. So when I go to criteria, I could add in something like uh, it has to be a single family home. Well, there is no abbreviation for single family home. So notice how I've got my matches here. I put in single family home, my matches goes down, and watch what happens when I go to the results. If I go to the results, it's gonna take everything I could have used in the speed bar, but set aside what we do not have an abbreviation for in the other criteria area right here. So you might be thinking, well, do I have to know the specific order? Uh, it, how, how, how specific do I have to be here if I want to use these little shortcuts? Not really. It's not case sensitive. You don't have to go too crazy here. The only order that it's really looking for is bedrooms and bathrooms. That's it. Bedrooms and bathrooms. Because you don't really walk around saying, I'm looking for a three bathroom, five bedroom home. No, you guys already think bedrooms and bathrooms. So continue to use that, that thought. Okay. Now, Here's the thing, this can get a little frustrating because if I type in something the speed bar doesn't like, like let's say cotton candy unicorn, it's not gonna know what that is. And you're gonna get an error and an error and an error and an error and an error. And this can get really frustrating when you start using the speed bar. Now remember, this is optional, you don't have to use it. It's just a tool to save you a couple seconds here and there. So let me show you how I actually learn the speed bar. I'm gonna go here and open up a brand new search. Notice there's nothing in the speed bar here. And I'm gonna go ahead and put in my same criteria, but I'm gonna put it in manually. Okay, so I open up my residential search, active properties in Orlando, 250,000 or less, three or more bedrooms, two or more bathrooms, nothing in the speed bar up here, but watch what happens when I go to the results. The system is gonna tell you, here is what you could have used instead to get those same results. So what I would recommend is just do normal searching and let the system actually teach you how to use the speed bar. That's the easiest way to learn it, it's just to kind of slowly absorb it as time goes by. That's what I would recommend, okay? And remember, you can always go back to criteria and tighten it up a little bit more if you wanna put in other criteria. Like, let's say it has to have a pool and it has to be a single family home. So I go in there. Now when I go to results, once again, it's gonna tell you every time you do a search what you could have put in the speed bar and then set aside what doesn't go in here. Okay? A couple other uses for the speed bar. We're just gonna glance here at the help bubble and these are very, very quick. I can come in here. I could do an agent search if I want to. I could do an office search if I wanted to. I could do an open house search if I wanted to with these codes, OH and the date. So I could say, what's this Saturday? This Saturday is the first. So I could come up here and I could say, uh, show me open houses on the 1st of April. Okay, I do that and you can only put an OH and the date here. I would have to go back to the criteria and specify what area I wanted to be in. So I could say, show me the open houses in Orlando. And then it would focus on, on that. I could do an agent search here. AG, we'll do Sean. And I could get an agent's contact information really quick if I wanted to. 
Okay. I could also do an, an office if I wanted to. So when you guys click on the, the help bubble here, remember it has a shorthand here. So OFF, and then I could put in the office I want. So we'll put in OFF uh, Web Pro, and it brings me to the Web Pro offices or whatever office you're looking for. So there is a lot of really good utility out of the speed bar, but don't feel pressured like you have to use it. Once again, this is just one of those shiny features of Matrix to help make your life a little bit easier. But if you find that you're struggling with it, don't use it and you'll still be perfectly fine. It's just one of those things to make it a little bit easier on you, okay? So good luck with the speed bar and thank you for watching.